Anderson, one of the trainers at the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go over how you can take your Word document and use it to generate forms in Acrobat. OK, so to begin with, you can see that I have a Word document and I have a few blocks of text set up to be like a fillable form. The top section here, as you can see, this is just tabbed text without any tab leaders associated to those tab stops. The second text block will be again tabbed text, but this time there are leaders applied to the tab stops. The third block will be a table, and it is formatted with borders around all of the cells. And the fourth block is again a table, but there are no borders associated with it. This document has been saved and is what I will use to import into Acrobat to convert into a form so that we can see how Acrobat will handle each of these varying types of text blocks. Here in Acrobat, I'm going to go ahead and create a new form. So I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to look for the prepare form set of tools if it is not already available. And in my case, I'm going to add it. And then open. So now I'm in the create a form window where I'm going to start by selecting a file. So I will navigate to wherever I have my document stored and open it. I get a little preview of my file. I can decide whether or not my document requires signatures. In this case, I'm going to skip that and I'm going to simply create a very easy form or a very simple form by tapping start. Acrobat will go ahead and convert my Word document into a PDF. And I'm going to make this fit my page with a quick control or command zero. And we can see any space that was defined either with the borders in the table or the underlines, or I should say the leaders in the tab stops. Acrobat is able to generate fields from that information. It is even able to extrapolate the names from the associated text to label all of these fields. So when you are planning to create forms starting from Microsoft Word, you want to remember either put it into a table and then make sure that that table has orders associated to it or if you're using tab text, that you apply the leaders to your tab stops. This way, Acrobat will be able to determine those fields, locations, by those underlines or borders. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on other social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. And if you'd like to learn more about the Computer Workshop and learn about upcoming classes that we are offering, please check us out at www.tcworkshop.com. Until next time, take care for now.